Hello, it's Adam, also known as AB Animation Limited here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program. Now, since the last episode, I have, in one of my occasional live streams over on Twitch TV, uh, played a bit of Kerbal Space Program, and just, you know, when landed on the moon for the first time, <laughs> you know, um, that is the, the Twitch highlight of that. It's about 40 minutes long of it starts from the actual approach to the moon, my landing, uh, and just kind of exploring on the moon for a bit. Um, so go and watch that if you haven't seen it already, it's in the Kerbal Space Program Let's Play uh, playlist. Um, but yeah, uh, assuming if you haven't seen that, spoiler alert, because uh, we have a bit of bad news. The ship that went to the moon kind of got stuck there, um, just out here. There is, in orbit, the Moon Free Lander, uh, which I intended to fly back to Kerbin, but I think when I took off I went in the wrong direction, and yeah, now it's just going to be kind of difficult to actually get it out of Moonar orbit and then lower it back into Kerbin orbit here. So, uh, what I've had to do, hold on, I'll be right back. Yeah? Half an hour to look, you can look at your jeans on. Okay, I'm back after a annoying interruption. Um, I've completely lost track of what I was saying and what we're doing. I think I was saying that the Moon Free Lander is stuck in orbit around the Moon, orbiting the wrong direction. So, I've come up with a rescue mission, which I did promise at the end of the live stream we will get these guys back to Kerbin. Um, the rescue ship, you can't really see it right now, it's in the darkness of the planet. Uh, I didn't bother recording the whole launch of it, it's a fairly simple launch setup. Uh, we've got... Uh, two 2,700 units of fuel with which to get out there. I'll use the RCS to dock with the lander and then we will... Uh, hopefully use the combined fuel because there's a tiny amount of fuel left in there where it will barely make any difference uh, to hopefully just get us out of moon or orbit and then we can lower ourselves back down towards Kerbin. If we happen to get stuck uh, in this kind of like you know we break orbit around the moon and we're going still going around Kerbin but we can't get any lower then we're probably going to be stuck forever but at least I tried right we might as well try so First things first, let's go and help a manoeuvre to get ourselves out there. We should probably do this as efficiently as we can. Mm, okay, so let's go for about there, shall we? Conveniently, that's the apoapsis, so it's periapsis even, so it's a bit more efficient. Alright, we have a lunar encounter. How should I go about doing this? Right, so. I can't even remember which. <laughs> I do need to make sure, of course, that. Right, I think this is orbiting clockwise, we lander. From what I remember, it's kind of going around that way. So we want to also be going around that way, otherwise, it's going to be a tad bit of a problem. And above level, we want to dock with the, uh, with the ship, so let's uh, find that. Also, there's been an update to the game I should probably mention. Um, Update 0.21 uh, and it's made a slightly inconvenient change in that now in order to um, in order to make use of the actual capsule's own ability to move around without RCS in order to use that you will now have to use electric charge and seeing as this didn't seem to replenish in its own electric charge I've added to, had to add uh, geo thermo thermonuclear even thermonuclear power things to this, which makes it a bit heavier, unfortunately. But um, I can I think I can't think I'm going to need kind of unlimited electric charge to move this thing around. Uh, because you know we've only got limited RCS. Right, okay, let's bring, around, bring ourselves around to the counter. To adjust ourselves. By the way, I 
hope I don't have to because I've, I'm kind of going very soon. I hope I can actually finish this today. I guess I could always finish it when I get back. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, I'm not sure how close it's going to require us to get. Let's go from there. Ugh, that's only my right ear, that feels awful. Okay, I think I should be fine. That's going down very quickly. Maybe it's our orbit on its way out to the moon. Okay, slow down. Let me just get this perfect. Because right now that is... Uh, I don't know, it's not actually in an encounter, is it? Uh, come on. Come on. You can do it. There we go, there we go. Okay, um, that's interesting. <laughs> I kind of want this to be precise. That's not good, right, hold on. It's now CS time for this. Oh, sorry, it's Skype. There we go, that's as close as I can get for now. Alright, Skype has been turned off. Uh, let's get rid of that. We're now on our way out to the moon. Okay, we've managed to get in a quite a low periapsis, actually, lower than I kind of wanted, so... Let's just do a bit of tweaking, bring that... It's like it's a lot further away you do it, it's kind of more efficient, right? That's perfect. Now, I will cut out and bring you back when we actually get out to the moon. Alright, here we are at the moon. It's now time for us to uh, slow ourselves down, to insert ourselves into orbit. Perhaps it's in two minutes. So, let's just hasty here. Not quite a lot of speed to kill off, but this craft does have quite a powerful engine, so should too difficult for it. Come on now. There we go. Right then. Let's just forward it a bit. Wait till we can get there a bit more exactly. Hmm. 50 seconds away. I don't know. I don't know how long it should wait. I don't know how long it's going to take us to actually slow down. It's going to be alright if we just start about. We'll go. We'll go now. No, it's been to the left here. Whoa, that was quick, that was quick, that was quick. <laughs> yeah, I told you it wouldn't require much. So let's we'll bring that down to about 40 as well. Very good, very good. Okay, that's now 36 by 85. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's a bit irregular, I'll work on that later, but um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, now, I think. I shall, I shall go, I have other things to attend to, and I'll be back uh, later today to finish off this episode. Next thing we need to do is uh, try to get our orbits properly lined up, I mean look at that, it's no good. We need to, uh, we need to dock with the Lunar 3 ship, that's going to be difficult I think. We've got limited RCS fuel with which to do that. Um, and then we need to use the engine that we have to kind of push ourselves out of lunar orbit and as soon as we're there I'll get, I'll get to uh, the Kirby and Apoapsis and reduce the periapse as low down as I can as long as it's within the even if it's just the upper atmosphere <laughs> well we'll probably crash her for a few years but at least it means that we'll be able to get there at some point. That's all we really need. So yeah, I shall be back later for the rest of this episode. Okay, people, I am back. Um, I've gotten our rescue ship right here now, 40 meters away from the Moon Free landing craft, which I'll just switch over to now. I think I've decided what I'm probably going to do is send this at that rather than the other way around because the angle of the sun will make it easier to see. So I'll set that as our target and uh let's pin that up there. Okay, right. Yeah, this thing's also a lot more manoeuvrable so that's another good reason why. Right then. Let's 
closer towards that. That's the S on, presumably. Oh yeah, there's not much else that's left in this thing, that's not too great. Whoa! <laughs> I need me to activate the landing gear. Oh god, what's going on? Uh, yeah, this is, this is gonna be harder now, because, oh god. Slow us down, slow us down now, come on. No, come on, seriously. Uh, not good. <sighs> right, okay, that's kinda helping. Yeah, the problem is now, because it's kinda changed a bit. <sighs> Damn it all. Um, yeah, they sort of changed the... I want to actually set that docking port as target. Um, they changed the SAS before it was quite easy to uh, manoeuvre yourself without changing the orientation of your ship, which now doesn't seem to work anymore. That seems to be the disadvantage of the new SAS system. However, we are flipping around quite conveniently here. And I will just now bring myself to a stop as much as I can. Oh, okay, that was quite dramatic, but... Right, I'm trying to do it this way. Proper way-ish. Right, heading towards it. Good, right, now what I should do is do that. Okay, it doesn't seem too bad in this, in this circle. Keep ourselves coming in nice and slowly now. Okay, quite close. Uh, slowed down too much, huh? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, uh, I've kind of stopped and started going away quite a lot. Uh, Okay. Uh, this doesn't look too great, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, um, I'm going so slowly that I can't even see the... Okay, be careful now. This doesn't look too good at all. Um, I'm not even sure what control I'm meant to be using there. I think that looks good. Yeah, right. Okay, if I get from this point of view here, that kind of helps. Well, I'd hope it wasn't going away from the ship. Um, right. Okay, I'm getting close to it. Okay, um, quite quickly too. Probably aiming at it a bit better. Uh, let's do that and then. Oh, okay. Uh, I can drag. Uh, feels like. Oh no, this will feel right. We aren't actually gonna hit this properly are we? What if I do this? Just be careful, oh, it's such an angle though. Right, you know what, I'll stop here, switch to the other ship, and then, oh, I'm maybe not, um, <laughs> uh, so there's a target. There. I think that's more. That should be a bit better. I'm kind of pointing at it now. And then we'll get back to here. Now. Right, aim right there. These two docking ports should just be able to move forward. 
very nice. Just lock into place. Let's move out a bit. Forces of attraction, right, let's just turn everything off. Okay, they're touching. Oh, goodness, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. And it's docked. Now, this really doesn't look stable at all now that I think about it. Um, yeah, that's, I didn't think about that. This really doesn't look stable. Um, what happens if I try and turn it now? Kind of works. Oh, wobbly. Very wobbly indeed. However, oh, SAS does actually stabilise it, which is very good to see. Right then. Now it's time to try and figure out how the hell we get home. Um, well, I didn't think. Which engines is it going to use? I don't think about that. Um, uh, yeah. Um, okay, I'm assuming it's this one, because right now it's pointing. Oh. It is actually going to fire for both at the same time, isn't it? Right. In that case, I know what we need to do. Uh, we need to manually deactivate all these, right? So we shut down engine. That's what we need to do. Otherwise, they're going to. It's, otherwise, the ship's going to fight against itself. Um, right. Shut down all these. Because they're all in the same stage, it doesn't matter. Oh, fire. Right, so now we've only got that engine there on, which is good. Oh, I'm coming up to the manoeuvre, where is it? Um, oh, I'm probably on the other side of the... Oh, goodness. Oh, this is going to be really bad to turn around, isn't it? Um, so it's kind of wobbling its way around. If I go too fast, it's just going to snap, in it? Um, yeah. Oh, God, right. We should be burning right now, but... I can't turn around quick enough. Still though, 100 meters a second, I, sh I think we can easily do that on that fuel we've got. It's just, I do need, I'm, I'm worried about the final stage, getting down from 8 million meters up. No. It doesn't seem like a particularly easy task. Right. Just can slow that, and cancel that. Oh, okay, okay, careful now. SASR. Nice and gentle. 36 seconds in schedule, but let's go anyway. Okay. Breaking our bit. Okay, oh, I should probably be thinking about how the actual ship doing. I'm not like utterly wrecking everything, am I? It doesn't look like it. Right. Let's stop there. Okay. We've broken our bit. Let's just get rid of the thing there. We are in a 9 million by 18 million orbit. So, right, here's the plan. We're going to go up to our collapses. Then we're going to break as much as we can and bring that down. Um, I just do have the unfortunate feeling that, um, you know, it's going to take quite a lot, I think. Um, let's wait until we actually get out there. We're leaving Moonar a bit. We've got away from the moon. That's, that's a good thing, I guess. But if we, are, if we do get stuck out here, in this kind of orbit, then we're basically screwed forever because it's going to be difficult to get a craft all the way out that far without the help of the gravity of the moon or whatever. So I guess the moon behind us now. Okay, there goes there's the sun again. And we're on the way home, people. Right then. So let's fast forward time until we leave the uh, until we leave this. We do seem to be going quite slowly, which is good. Ok, 
Okay, it's quite boring. I found this out way two hours. Okay, I thought that would just like kill us or something if I click that. Whoa, uh, what? Oh, <laughs> I was a bit worried there. Uh, yeah, we do here kind of run into the danger of <laughs> intersecting with the moon again, which I don't really want to do. Right. I'll bring us back when we're ready to try and make the burn back to Kirby. <laughs> God, it's like, it's like Apollo 13 or something. <laughs> we should have used the gravity of the moon to like go in like a figure of eight pattern. Or maybe that's what we're doing, I don't know, I've kind of lost track. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back shortly. Alright people, we are back, and we are now about four minutes away from apoapsis. Our apoapsis, our apoapsis of 18 million kilometers. No, 18,000 kilometers, or 18 million meters. And this is the furthest away I've ever been from the planet Kirby. Just look at that. It's tiny in the distance. We've gone quite far away from the moon as well already. So I'm just turning the ship around now to... Uh, if you can see uh, Midmus anywhere. <laughs> we probably should be. We should keep track of where we're going. But kind of curious, that's there, that's probably... Oh no, is that it? That thing there? I doubt it. Right. Okay. Uh, Apoapsis is in about a minute and 30 seconds, so... Let's get a move on here now. Oh goodness, careful. Right. Let's turn that on. Right. Let's just fire the engines with a little test. Okay, that does work quite usefully, I've noticed. That has uh, already started to bring that down, right. Stuff it, let's go. Right, okay, it's working, whoa, okay, moon encounter, keep going, keep going, keep going, just ignore it. <laughs> yeah, that we're going to, we'd crash back into the moon again if we'd continue doing that. Two million, it's working, it's working! Oh my god, it's working, people. 900 fuel, down to 600,000. And we are now on a collision course with Planet Kirby, ladies and gentlemen. That was not as hard as I thought. I was kind of expecting because we were so far out that it would require like tons of fuel to slow us down, but actually, we're going so slow, you know. So, what I'm actually going to do is reverse that a bit and bring. I kind of want us to aero break. I don't want us just to slam into the planet. That seems like a really bad idea. We're going to be coming in very fast. So, we're going to need as much atmosphere as we can to kind of slow us down. So, there's our periapsis there. Uh, I'm going to have us aim for about 15,000 maybe. I think that should be good enough. I've got no idea where we're going to land or anything like that. How long is it going to be till we get there? 14 hours time. Okay. This is going to be very interesting. Whoa, okay. Funny camera stuff going on there. We are basically free falling towards that. I actually pointed to it with my finger because you can clearly see that with the mouse. We are free falling towards that right now. You'll probably see it a bit more clearly if I speed up time like that. And you can you can see as well Kirby's rotating in the amount of time. You can see the moon going round. We're almost two days into the mission now. It's going to take us a long time to free fall all the way down there. But you can see our altitude is going down from, you know, 17,000 kilometers. And it is getting closer. The moon has almost done an entire cycle already. And we're picking up speed, of course, as we free fall. We're only going about 100 meters a second at first, but now we're already up to 500. Mm -hmm. We're two days into the mission, and it's getting closer very rapidly now. We are considerable distance away back from the moon. Uh, a couple of hours in real time. Um, no, in simulation time, whatever. Ish, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the, moon's on, the moon has like, done this whole cycle since then. Uh, let's keep going. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ready. Right, 
I'm going to slow down the simulation speed because I don't want to. I'm now going a kilometer a second. You can see how fast we find it. If I bring this up to normal, these are kilometers going down. <laughs> we are going very fast indeed. Uh, okay, it's now less than an hour. In less than an hour's time, we are going to be in the atmosphere of that planet. It doesn't look like we can cover that distance that quickly. I dread to think how fast we're going to be when we enter the atmosphere. <laughs> We've basically free-fallen from higher than the moon. You kind of pick up a lot of speed when you do that, so... Let's keep going. Let's do it like this, I think. Whee. <laughs> uh, right. Our rescue ship is all the way over there now. Uh, we are probably going to come in on the nighttime side, by the looks of it. Uh, parachutes does this have? Oh yeah, it's got parachutes on each of those, and I will deploy its landing legs as well. This is going to be interesting. Um, so long as we don't come in so fast that the G-forces like rip off the <laughs> these bits here with these on, because that would be really bad. Um, we should be alright. If these snap off, then this capsule will just go to free fall with no parachutes, yeah, then we'll probably die. You know, at least I tried. <laughs> Try and slow ourselves down with the RCS thrusters. I don't think that's going to work. Um, oh god, where's the planet? I should probably keep an eye on that. Right. I'm going 1600 meters a second. 1700 meters, I've been here quite a while. I'm going to this a bit. Okay, here we go. 2 kilometers a second. Okay, uh, look at how fast those are for meters. If you think about this compared to the speeds we deal with in everyday life, this would be tremendously fast. But yeah, we are probably going to come down on the nighttime side. We're now 453,000 meters away. Coming in on our final approach. Uh, with our tiny scrap of fuel left. Still using those engines as well. Um, it's going to be interesting this, I tell you. Uh, we're now going two and a half thousand meters a second. Just look at that altitude drop away. Curvature of Kirby is starting to disappear as well. It's now 200 kilometers. Even no, now it's 200 kilometers. 150 now. Right, okay. We're going three kilometers a second now. This is going to be a very fast approach indeed. Um, I can try and kill off some of the. I don't know. I feel like that might not be such a good idea. Trying to kill it off now. I might. I might have a better use for it later when. And again. This thing should be able to land on its own par with those four parachutes. I would imagine it would, right. Let's use up that remaining fuel. Oh wait, I disabled the engines, didn't I? Um, Alright, I'll do that again. Oh great, and we are... Now at... Oh god, 100 now. fast that the g-forces destroy us okay we're about to enter the atmosphere this is it use up the last of the fuel right we're in the atmosphere the upper atmosphere right now right oh goodness we are still accelerating we're now at 60 i can't see a thing right now i should be able to the ambient light should work but i can't see anything at the moment, anyway. Right, I, th I think it will probably... Yeah, ambient light will start working soon. Reflecting through the atmosphere. Oh, come on, it's still all black. Oh, are we coming over the sea? Oh, I bet we're coming in over the sea. It looks... A very kind of blacky, bluish colour. 
Okay, we should probably start burning up in the atmosphere soon. Let's get ourselves on a proper re-entry angle here. Whoa, let's look at that atmosphere <laughs> meter go down. Oh, God. 3,150. Okay, error braking is kicking in. Our speed is going down faster than our velocity. Uh, you can see that is coming down rapidly. Okay, here we go. We're burning up in the atmosphere. Right then, keep an eye on altitude. I can't, I know you can't see what's going on down there. The ambient light. Oh dear. Um. Oh god, this is laggy. Five frames a second right now. Right, maybe up there, that's a bit better. Right, once I get to about 10,000, yeah, look at our speed going down now. We're now down at 2,300 meters a second. Yeah, <laughs> this is what happens when you return at you know, these kind of speeds from such a distance. Yeah, our speed is dropping massively now as we plunge into the lower atmosphere. I still can't see what's below us at all. I don't know if I've disabled some setting or something. It's probably just mostly ocean, that's probably why there's nothing to see anyway. Okay. We've lost a ton of speed. We still seem to have everything intact. Uh, we're going 700 meters a second. And that's still decreasing all the time. I'm going to apply the parachutes very shortly. Okay. Doing well. There's no, probably no point deploying the landing gear, actually, if we're going to come down in the sea. Although, coming down in the sea is probably going to be a bit awkward with this thing. Right. About the speed of sound right now. Deploy parachutes. There we go. And our speed drops rapidly. Right there, actually, I'm going to put the lights on so we can probably then. Oh, and the lights were on, weren't they? Right, they're on now. Hopefully, then we'll be able to see the sea below us a bit better as it comes up to meet us. Nighttime landing in the middle of the ocean. Okay, I can see a bit of land over there. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I can't see anything, I was just looking in the wrong places. So yeah, there's land all over there, look. Oh, we haven't landed too far away from civilization. Yeah, we are definitely going to come down in the sea, though. Uh, four kilometers now, four and a half even. Uh, going about 100 meters a second. And I do believe, on well, this return trip, we have managed to get the lander home. Uh, now it's just a matter of getting the rescue ship itself home as well. So as soon as... Okay, I can kind of see the ocean now. Yeah, here we are, look. I can see the water coming up to meet us at two and a half kilometres. I might just put on, <laughs> put down the landing gear just for, just for normalcy. See what happens to the scientific test. Yeah. Okay. That was alright, that. We managed to avoid killing ourselves in that approach. Whoa, there go the big parachutes, fully deployed now, and give us a bit of a jolt, but we're drifting down at 7 metres a second. Um, it's literally only half an hour of game time after we disconnected from the ship, so that would be... If we didn't have these proper parachutes and stuff, and if, if that heat actually damaged our ship, then that would be what would be known as a crash landing, or even just a crash. <laughs> But uh, luckily heat doesn't affect the ship, so we can just uh, go through as if we weren't plummeting through the atmosphere at several thousand degrees Celsius. And now we are a few hundred meters above the surface of the ocean. Land over there in the distance. Maybe a, an aircraft carrier could come pick us up, like it did, as the Earthlings do. So yeah. Uh, Mission almost accomplished. We just have to get the rescue ship back. The last thing I want to do is have to go and rescue the rescue mission. Okay, 8 tit, 7 tit, 6 tit, 50, 4 tit, 30, 20, and splash down.
This thing actually landed in the water pretty nicely. Although it's probably going to tip over any second now. I don't know, it's actually just kind of sitting there. As if for, it's like some sort of water spider with the legs. I, can't, I think I kind of like balancing it, maybe. I don't really want to know what happens if I tip it over. I don't want to, like, <laughs> like it snaps and the crew capsule like lands on an engine and just like all explodes and they die. That would be humiliating. Right, well, I guess this mission's done. Um, I don't really know what to do now. Um, because he can't end flights anymore. This is just going to sit here in the water now. Whoa, okay. That's working. Quite dramatically. Okay, um... That's certainly interesting. Uh, how much more can I actually break here? I mean, <laughs> that works, I guess. Um... We are just going to smash into that damn planet, aren't we? And let's use up all the remaining fuel we've got to slow us down as much as we can, because... All ending like that one ain't gonna be fun. Right, okay. This one's gonna smash down the ocean as well. Now, a slight problem. Uh, this pod cannot actually disconnect from this giant fuel tank stuck behind it. Which means that those two parachutes there are going to have to try and slow down this whole thing. There's no fuel in it, which is good. I mean, I suppose I could also try um, uh, using... burn up some of the RCS fuel, maybe. Would that work? It's essentially a capsule on top of a giant fuel tank free falling towards Kerbin at two kilometers a second. And we are about to enter the atmosphere. I've been constantly burning with our monopropellant here. Trying to uh Okay, here we are coming into the atmosphere now. Very steep as well, so we're not gonna have much time to aero break. That's another problem I don't think about. I should probably have uh, let it come in at that kind of more shallow angle, I reduce so much speed, I mean, ah, it'll, it'll be fine, it must be, parachutes are more effective than you think. Alright, here we go. Still burning with that, and a futile attempt to slow us down, oh god, here we go. Alright. Whoa, okay, uh, oh snap, oh dear. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh, oh god, that's coming up so fast. Come on, error break, error break. Oh. oh dear, that is one hell of a steep approach, that. God, the G-forces would probably have killed him in real life. First time I've actually seen that Mac effect before. So steep, that. <laughs> Approach there. Uh, I'm still burning RCS right now. Oh god, I should probably deploy those damn parachutes. Okay. 150. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness me. Keep burning the RCS. Come on. Reduce the weight. Oh, it's coming up quickly. This ain't gonna be pretty either. Oh, when's a big parachute gonna fly? Oh, no. Oh, okay. So much for that. <laughs> yeah. As soon as the big parachutes deployed, it was it was going too fast, and so the because uh, it was so heavy, those big parachutes gonna stop in it. It ripped itself apart. Right under. That's that's quite lucky actually. If it had ripped itself apart any other point, the parachutes would have come off probably. And then the whole thing would have free felt, not just the fuel tanks. So that's quite convenient that the rest of the ship, which is just useless, just plummets into the sea. We're left with our crew member in this little pod with its docking port. All right, now. let's uh, see what it's like for him inside. See the sky out there. Very nice, very nice. 
who we are, look. Uh, so the final phase of uh, the Mood 3 mission to land on the moon and return to Kerbin is about to wrap up now. I didn't foresee that we'd have to send out uh, Ollie on a rescue mission, but, you know, these things happen. Uh, future missions to the moon will be designed so that we don't have this problem again. Um, and yeah, I guess that pretty much wraps up for now this episode of Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. Next time, I'm not really sure what we're going to be doing. Might be time for Minmus, maybe? That would be another place to go, the second moon of Kerbin, which is further out. Um, that might be something to do. Um, at any rate, um, that's all from me for now. So, if you liked this video, a like would really be appreciated. Subscribe for more, and don't forget to leave feedback in the comments. That's all from me. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.